Hey everybody and welcome to Jasmine's Way. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is a variety channel. I do a variety of things. And today in honor of Black History Month, we're going to visit the home of Emmett Till. I'm going to take you guys on the outside of his home. Now, um, Black History is something that should be celebrated year round. But in honor of Black History Month, we're going to take this trip again. So I have um, been to his home two times previously. And on those two occasions, my children were with me. So Emmett Till, um, if you don't know this story, this story is like what started the civil rights movement. Um, Emmett Till was born and raised in Chicago. He was the only child of Mamie Till. And at, at, at the age of 14, he traveled to Mississippi down south to visit family. And he was tragically murdered, lynched. I mean, what they did to this young man was horrendous. And this really is what his story is what sparked the civil rights movie to really get a kickstart in it because people were like, okay, enough is enough. Now you all are lynching our kids because he was only 14. And Mimi Till, his mom, became an activist after this, speaking out, and God rest her soul. Please too. check out this um, series. She's no longer with us. Uh, and the strength that this woman had, <laughs> it's unbelievable. So take a ride with me right now through the south side of Chicago to the childhood home of Emmett Till. And make sure to subscribe to Jasmine's Way. All right, so we are on our way to the childhood home of Emmett Till. And Emmett Till childhood address is 6427 South St. Lawrence on the south side of Chicago. So I am on Cottage Grove right now, going northbound. Let's go. So this is 87th. We got to get to 60, 63rd. Then I'm going to um, make a left to get to his home. Home, home, home. So this community that I'm driving through right now is primarily black. You know, if you're from Chicago, you know, Chicago's pretty segregated still. It's a couple of communities that are mixed, such as, you know, High Park, which is in the 50s, 50s and 40s um, around this way. But, um, yeah, you, you notice you only see black people. <laughs> yeah. You know, Dr. King said that when he came to Chicago, Chicago was one of the most racist places he had ever been to. Dr. King said that. He said it was more racist than the South. <laughs> well, I guess I keep taping. This man, I cannot be behind him with that. Oh my God, people in Chicago cannot drive. Like, they cannot drive. I'm telling y'all, they can't drive. They be running red lights. They be doing everything crazy. These people can't drive. Get over like that. Hey, we on. Oh, these streets are horrible. We on 81st right now. Getting there, getting there, getting there. I'm going to start back filming once we get closer. Yeah, this funeral home right here. Lincoln Sons. It's a black-owned funeral home. And, you know, all of the gun violence that's happening in, this, in the city of Chicago, they, they, they keep, you know, it's always, they always like having a funeral because there's so many um, young people losing their lives due to gun violence here in the city of Chicago. And I'm sure it's probably happening in other cities as well, but it's really, really bad. You know, you got kids. We had two situations just within two weeks. The kids coming outside the school and getting shot to death. You know what I mean? Very sad and tragic. This is 76. And Cottage Grove. We got to get to 64th and St. Lawrence. I keep taping once we get a little bit closer. 
All right, we're still trying to get there better together. You see that artwork right there? Got a turn right here because they got it blocked off. You can't drive all the way through Cottage because they're doing some type of construction work. I don't know, but they've been doing that for like, it's, it's, been, it's been a while. It's been a while. So, you know, this cemetery that we're going to pass right here, Oakwood Cemetery, is actually the cemetery where our first black mayor of Chicago is buried. If you see it, Oakwood Cemetery, Harold Washington um, is buried in that cemetery. He was our first black mayor. And I was in elementary school when he was elected. And I remember um, I wrote, we had to write what we liked about him in school. And the I wrote, I was, I was very young because I, I don't even like maybe, I was very, very young, but my what I wrote, it made the school newspaper. Yeah, my mom still actually has that. My One of my uncles is actually buried in the cemetery, too. God rest his soul. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Oakwood Cemetery here in Washington. God rest his soul. First black mayor of Chicago. And my uncle is buried there. All right, we're trying to get there. We're trying to get there. We're trying to get there. Okay. Let's turn. Let's turn. Now, this police station over here, you don't see any immigrants, uh, migrants posted there. But um, during the summer, it would be large amounts of tents out there where migrants would be housed, like outside, just in the tents. But now they have it set up where um, they're in actual housing um, locations in the city. I'll give my opinion about all of that on another video. Like I said, to the right of us is um, the cemetery. It's Cottage Grove. We're back on Cottage Grove, going northbound. Okay, this is 67th. I'm on I'm a, I'm a 60 on 60. You know what? I'm going to turn here. I'm going to turn here. Yep, I'm going to turn here. That's what I'm going to do. Because he on 64, if his childhood home is on 64. And they made his childhood home a landmark. Yep, they made it a landmark. Last time we came over here, one of his neighbors were outside. And it was really cool to have a conversation with her. Of course, she she's a, a younger lady. But her family just happened to live next door to Emmett Till's home. So, um, St. Lawrence is the street. I may have to. It's St. Lawrence. Okay, this is St. Lawrence coming up. So this is the street, and it's a one way I could go down. Ooh, I'm doing me some driving too. They say Chicagoans can't drive. You know, I've said it. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm in in that group too. But at least I'm not running red lights like some of these people doing intentionally running red lights and causing um, accidents out here. You know, it's a lot of carjackings and stuff going on in the city of Chicago. You know, this world is just, I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's a lot going on, not right. Okay, 64th in St. Lawrence. When I first came um, to Emmett Till's home, I was like, wow, because you're going to see if this is your first time seeing it. Like I said, I have two other videos uh, where we have visited his home. And like I said before, I had my children with me on uh, those two times, teaching them about the Emmett Till story. You know, some people feel like, hey, that's the past. Why we got to keep living it? No, it's important that we continuously um, teach our young people about our history. And our history started in Africa. You know, we were, we, we were you know what I'm saying, we were kings and queens, you know. And it started with slavery. But it's important that we educate. Oh, my God, wait a minute. What? Is this? They, they, what have they done? Wait a minute. They took down. There were like beautiful pictures here of Emmett Till and his mother. What happened to that? Now I'm very confused. I am very, very confused because, and let me show you guys this block. This is Emmett Till's home right here. But I'm totally confused because the two times we came, where you see that the, the, it's boarded up, justice comes of age, how to use historical. Uh, I'll free. Versus Chicago. 
Okay, so where you see the cardboard in the window spot, those were like big images of Emmett Till and his mother. So I'm like, what happened? Like, really, what happened over here with this? Let me step back so you all can see this better. I am in Chicago, so I got to be a little bit careful. I look my surroundings. So this is his home, but like I said, where you see that it's boarded, those were like beautiful images. What's this coming down? This is his block. Like I say I gotta. I ain't gonna be out here too long because, like I say, this is the city of Chicago. Yeah, and so it's a couple of things. I had asked somebody before that they know what this was. Um, it was, I don't know, like maybe they're doing some type of work on it or something. I don't know. But this is the home of Emmett Hill, his childhood home with his mother. And yeah. This is where he grew up at. All right, you guys, on that note, I'm going to get up out of here. Like I said, this is his block. I'm going to get up out of here. Uh, this is his block he grew up on. I'm going to get up out of here, you guys. I'm just kind of shocked because I don't know what's happening with this. I'm going to look into this. this. Maybe they're doing some construction work on it, like rehab work. I don't know. Uh, underserved places into thriving communities all free so this is something that they're promoting on that banner Emmett Till Museum Garden and like I said it's I don't know what's going on here but all right you guys make sure to subscribe to Jasper's Way if you have not and have a blessed day peace